Hi, today we will be doing high flow, high spines particle puffs. So to begin, we can start by doing creating a sphere. And we'll also need a pathway to know like the particles to follow. Then to make it more interesting, we can go to the vertex and create some like this upwards and downwards to make it more visually interesting. Okay, once we have all this done, we can open tie flow. Once you open up the Typhoon editor, we can go to, we can create a buffed operator. And to start with it, we can go a total of maybe a hundred particles to start with. And then we can go we can also add a position object. So the object we can pick, click pick and click the sphere. So once you have this sphere, we can go on right click and we can go object properties. And just to make it not vendable, not vendable, and display as box. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, um, this should be the. We are doing it for the sphere, not for the lines. So we unclick the and vulnerable and. You'll display the sphere as a box. Yeah, that's fine. Then we can give a buffed operator and we will start at a hundred. Then we will give a position object forward so for the position of their object we can just pick the sphere so let's say sphere here so make sure you don't click the wrong path so now we need to create a shape for it for the particles so we can create a shape operators and set it to 3d and we can Click on sphere low res, or you can do high res. It's up to you guys. So next we can go to display. So instead of we display it as a small dot, we can display it as a geometry that you can see here. But I think 100 or 50 is not enough for the buffed. So maybe you can give it a total of 200. And 
Um, now we can go down to the shapes. Uh, we can get the size of maybe 200 to make it bigger. Next, we need the, um, the particles to follow the path where the path lines. So we will create a path operator, path follow operator for it. And then we'll click on the pick and we'll pick the spline. And now we can see that the particles are trying to follow the path, but it's not that accurate yet, I guess. I think they are I think they are, the particles are way too fast. That's why the it can't follow this line. So maybe we can get a slow we can get a slow operator in it just to make sure it slows that down. So I think now it will follow the path a bit better, but it's still not following towards it. So I think we need to tweak some of these, these settings and this slow operator for it. So maybe the velocity for the slow speed, we can make it like around 10%. And then go back to the path to follow. So maybe we can increase the... Uh, So maybe we can increase yeah the attraction the velocity to like one centimeter. So now let's see what we get. Yeah, I think it's much better now. So when you see that it can't, the particles can't complete to the end. We can adjust that the time frame for it. So we go in and we maybe we will give it a three hundred. Yeah. So yeah, I think that's too much. Maybe around hundred and forty time frame. It's fine. Yeah. I think 140 time frame will be a good amount for it. If it's if you don't think that the particles are sticking to the lines, the paths, we can maybe decrease the velocity of attraction here maybe like something like 0 0.8 then 
we can increase the particles like 250. And the last thing we need to create is the project tree. So now we can create the um, spine path for it. And then we will click create new and tra trajectories. So now as you go forward, here are your splines for it. So yeah, that's it for this. Thank you.